Welcome back to Photoshop. So today we're gonna to take a look at two different ways to fade an adjustment. One is destructive, one is non-destructive. And when you hear those words, destructive and non-destructive, destructive definitely sounds bad, like it's the wrong way to do something. That is completely untrue. What's important to understand is the differences between the two. I'm not saying that one is better than the other. They're two completely different ways to work but I think it's helpful to understand the scope of things of what you're doing. If this is just a simple kind of quick tone and you're never gonna look at the photo again, destructive toning might be the way to go. If this is something you're gonna be working on over time, then this non-destructive method might be better for you. So let's kind of go over what this means. So what we're gonna do is we'll just come up here and we'll go image, adjustment, and normally I don't work like this, but we'll just come up here and we're gonna make a, we'll do hue saturation. And I'm just gonna suck some of the color out so this isn't so bright. So we're gonna say we decided we wanted to suck the color out so it's not so vibrant. Now once I hit okay, it's automatically applying the adjustment and changing the digital information on this image. It applies it. Non-destructive, it wouldn't apply it. It would just be a layer. Now, the way this works, working non-destructively, if you, if you do something and then you decide you did it a little bit too much, you could either go back a step, undo what you just did and do less, or go back to what we did. You can come up here to edit. And whenever you make an adjustment, notice that we have this little thing right here called fade adjustment and saturation. And what this allows you to do is your last adjustment to kind of fade it or change the opacity or the amount of it. Right here we have a slider and then I can simply slide this back. And as I slide this back, it's going to be adding more color. So I can kind of like really lock in exactly how much of that adjustment that I wanted. You can also change your blend modes here. But in this case, we're just going to be working with the opacity slider. So let's say that's where I want it, and we're gonna be using 56% of the adjustment. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now the problem is, if I save this image and open it back up, I, I can't readjust that. It's set in stone. So when you work destructively and you save something, you lose the ability to go back in time and adjust something that you changed in the image. Now working non-destructively is gonna be a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go up here to file and hit revert. And that's gonna give us our original image. So we're gonna do the same thing, but in this case, we're gonna work non-destructively. So we can do this one of three ways. One, we can come up here to adjustments and click curves, and that's gonna give us a curves adjustment layer. So I could come up here, hit curves, I get a curves adjustment layer. So I can come down here to this little symbol and I can click this and right here we have all of our options. So in this case, remember we wanted curves, so I can hit curves. Or I could do the really slow way, which is layer, new adjustment layer, curves. It's gonna bring up this little window, I'm gonna say okay. And each one of those three ways does the exact same thing in Photoshop, but by either clicking up here or down here is much faster option. All right, so we're just, I'm gonna hit Command Z again. I'm gonna undo that layer. And so we're gonna do that hue saturation adjustment. So in this case, I'm just gonna come up here to hue saturation. I'm gonna click that button. That's gonna give me that adjustment. Just like before, I'm gonna dial out way too much. And I'm gonna say, okay. And because this is a layer, now it's non-destructive. So I could turn this on or off at any time. And instead of coming up here to edit, notice there is no fade available because we're working in adjustment layers. Now we want to come up here and change this opacity. So opacity is just like fade. I can change that opacity. And as I dial that back, it's going to add more color until I get it exactly where I want it. The difference here is you can save this. So I can save this image out. I can open it back up a week, a month, a year later, and this layer is gonna be still here as long as you save this as a TIFF or a PSD and you tell it to retain layers, which it basically does in its default state. 
I would come in here, hit Command Shift S. I would save this and we'll just save this here. And notice layers is selected right here. That's important. If layers right there is not selected, you won't save the layers. So I can hit save. I can close this out. I can open it back up. And just like that, that layer is still there. So that's two completely different ways to kind of fade the adjustment or change the amount of adjustment that you made. One is destructive, one is non-destructive. One's not better than the other. They're just two completely different ways to work. Well, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>